Hello and welcome guys. Welcome back to the Block Centric Server. I am Rankwith and it has been a little bit of time since my last episode. Of course, it's generally the case. Uh, but I have been trying to figure out how to tweak and possibly improve my recordings. Yay. And I'm a dope. A little bit of a dope, of course. Uh, I completely forgot to try Optifine, yes, and I am running with Optifine, and it looks like I'm getting about 30 frames per second, so I did want to test this out, so, you know, if you're watching this, that means the test went well, if not, well, this is a deleted video. <laughs> so, uh, let's take a look around, there has been a lot of changes here, the last time we left we were with the Neural, and I did record an episode a while ago, um, about me building uh, a building that's up there. It's a piece of crap, don't get me wrong. I did not know what I was doing. Um, well, I knew what I was doing, but I just was not in the right frame of mind, and I, I couldn't talk. I really couldn't. I didn't know what to do. What <laughs> I kept stumbling. Uh, I think, um, dub, dub. Okay, so um, let's take a look around. We're going to take a tour, because this place is huge. It's getting so big, and it's mostly due to the neural. I'm not going to lie uh i after that episode i kind of did a little uh minecraft depression ish because i was sad i wanted to make videos um but i've been working a little bit more and more and uh we'll go over what we've done so um this house here uh is my summer shack let's take a look it's very it's very small we're kind of doing that um for the most part a lot of our buildings we're trying to make small we're going to try to cramp them in and we're trying to make it um, really busy and bustling harbor town, um, as you can see. So this is my summer shack, and uh, I've got just the basics. I've got a chest, double chest here um, with some random garbage, um, you know, a little furnace because I like to make little kitchens and a little table in case I, mm, I'm gonna eat my chicken right here. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, and then we go up this up the ladder here, and here's our bed uh, with another double chest up here just for mob loot, of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's take a look around. What what else do we have? Oh yeah, and and you know we've got our our puppies that we're still here. These two are my favorite. They defended me against a zombie the other day. It was awesome. But yes, yeah, so we've got uh, some of our external storage just to kind of spruce up the place and make it a little, you know, a little busier. Um, we've got some more buildings around here. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, you know, just some more basic stuff. Um, you know, the Neural and I have been kind of, you know, building off of each other. He, he does one thing, I take a look at it, I add a little bit, you know, little bits and pieces here, then I build something, he does the, the vice versa. So it's been really, really beneficial for the both of us, because we're kind of blending both of our styles. And I, I won't, be, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, my style is, um, has got a little bit by the wayside. Uh, I, it's been a while since I've been truly inspired with Minecraft. So, um, you know, where I was when I was making regular episodes is not where I am now. And, and I, I'll get there, um, assuming that this recording goes well and you're watching. So, um, so yeah, let's take a look. So yeah, this, so this is another building that I built. The Neural added a couple nice touches, um, but it, it's got a little tower here to kind of look out and a little vantage point. Um, but the big thing is it allows you to get back on the roof, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's kind of a little thing that we've been adding th here and there, depending on, on the buildings to kind of get up on the rooftops because, you know, we're going to have multiple levels of housing throughout here. So, um, so yeah, and then here's the out and I added this stairwell up here, which is pretty cool. Brings us down here and it allows us to go in multiple directions. Um, once we do start getting the second and third layer. And if you remember, our plan was to get like the first layer and a half of buildings to be, you know, steampunky, uh, fishing village with huts. Um, and then uh, our storyline is that we've got another race of people based off of the Neural's Lenore um, that have a different type of technology and different types of, um, you know, just things, the ways that they do where they have flying ships versus regular boats. You know, so as once these people came in, they started to want to, you know, build houses over here. So they're going to, their style is going to integrate a little bit further back because, well, quite frankly, that's where <laughs> there was room to build. So we came up here and this is the disgrace of a building that's going to get ripped down um, and replaced eventually. Uh, it's just so bad. Um, and my theory was I wanted to have a building up here because there was like a slot right there. 
Um, and it's a good concept. It's just a terrible execution. And, you know, you've got a cool vantage point. Very neat. Awesome. You can see up there. And you got down here because this is the tower. Um, and I think that I just need to rebuild it and, and make it <laughs> less garbagey. Uh, but I like the location. So we're going to keep the location. The house is just going to not suck. <laughs> um, and, and as a heads up, I, I apologize if you hear the... Oop, I just hit my microphone. I apologize if you hear the fan in the background. Um, I can't really help it because I'm working off a laptop and the fact that, you know, I'm getting 30 frames per second locked right now is pretty darn sweet. So, um, so yeah, anyways, back to the tour. So yeah, so I, I have the road just kind of going here and there and, um, it's essentially a placeholder. So once we get more stuff going up, um, which will be probably, it'll be in a while, then, uh, then we'll start, um, utilizing it. And then we've got some more buildings up here. Um, you know, this is kind of where the neural started to take a little life of his own. Uh, that's kind of neat. Cool. A little window. Uh, I think the last time I tried to record, he this hadn't this wasn't here. This was just open. But this is really cool. Uh, this is new to me. I haven't seen it. Uh, so, and we're gonna keep going up here. Yep. Just you know, they're all they're all just little cubby holes. And so I'm I'm looking through them all with you because, uh, quite frankly, I'm just like I said, I'm testing out my machine, and it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Ooh, so we've got second floor here and a third floor. Uh, ah, so he's he's doing the little lookout post too. This is really neat. Again, first time I've ever been up here. I do like the gray glass. Um, we were, you know, I was trying to fill in some glass on over there, and I used just a, like a white stain glass. But I think the, the neural is right. In one of his episodes, he mentioned it. The the gray glass looks a little bit better, uh, and you can use that to your advantage. I know that in some of my builds back at the Roman City, which uh, I've been there, and if all goes well with this episode, then I'll, I'll take a tour in the next one. Um, but I, you know, you can do things like you can p use orange glass for like a glow and th things like that. But the gray it, it suits these buildings. Um, let's take a look at the the pier real quick too. Um, the one thing that we did was we've been alternating um, oak and spruce throughout the entire design, and and the basic premise. Um, depending on the location, like the, the spruce up there looks great. Um, but you know, like in this case, right, if you look at the pier, you've got, you know, the, there's a, a spruce log and there's an oak log and that kind of gives you the appearance that it's wet. And that's, that's pretty much everything, um, on here. Just, just for those that were kind of wondering why, why that's like that. Um, you know, we've got our, our ships, we've got some cranes, um, and then we've got some more, as you can see, the one thing I really like is I really like matching the, um, the oak with the spruce planks and other wood products uh, because I think th the colors just match which is really nice compared to you know you see how light that is that's the oak obviously um, so so yeah so you're gonna see a lot of that from me going forward especially in here right so pretty <laughs> so um, as we come further we've got some more steampunk stuff that the neural's been putting in we've got the the water the windmill here um, and this premise was you know essentially we're pumping out water and I think I think his his idea was we're you know the windmill it you know obviously it turns with the wind um, it pulls water out of the spring and goes through here and then uh, I'm gonna assume that this pipe is going to go off in a different direction or maybe it's used in some sort of manufacturing process so uh, and another thing that we we decided to is we've got two different sides of the bay so we've got this side here um, it's very plant heavy so you got the wheats you get the melons and the uh, and the pumpkins uh, versus the other side we're actually thinking about possibly doing uh, like all of our meat products over there so we had some pigs breeding uh, and whatnot uh, anyways so we were into the I wouldn't say the town center, but a, a different square, at least for now. Um, oh, circle. And uh, apparently, you know, we're going to leave this fountain dry. That's what the neural wants to do. And considering he's built the most, <laughs> most of the stuff over here for now, um, we're, we're going to go with that suggestion. I will uh, put this as all because I can't stand it. Um, another option, too, that we could do is... Uh, Actually, let's do that. Let's try it. Um, so he wants to leave it dry, which we can do that. And I just, I ran out of my shovel. Boom. Boom. Is that a different color? Hmm. Interesting. All right. And let's do this. And we don't have any cracked. So we're just going to leave it like that. 
See if he notices it. Maybe he'll enjoy it. Oop, Skype's going off. Shut up, Skype. And we're back. Ah, uh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Crap. Okay, and so it's a little neat little stall. Anyways, um, so that shack here, this is the fishing shack that's been here since the beginning, since before I was even on the server. Um, so nothing much has changed. We're going to probably change some of these walkways, maybe integrate it a little bit more. Uh, and then we've got the Nerulean Tavern. Nerulean? Yeah, ner it's not Nerulean. There's no U there. It's Nerulean. The Nerulean Tavern. In this place, it's got some beds, which we're going to utilize. Um, but it's it's a very cheerful and lovely place. And, you know, you can get some beers or some, you know, apple juice for those of you that are underaged, of course. Uh, and then there's storage chest. Sweet. Um, and a little fridge. So let's go up to one of the bedrooms, or at least all of them, uh, and take a look. So we've got this little hallway down to this bedroom. Ooh, this is kind of the cheap one because there's no windows. Remember that. Uh, and then we've got this bedroom. Does it got a view? Oh, it's got a little view, but I can't get in there. Oh, there it is. Yep, little view. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got the master suite right here yes look at that view it's somebody it's the fishing hut <laughs> uh we are going to utilize this and pay later um one thing i am saying is uh we are using optifine version c5 for some reason uh c6 doesn't play sound so i don't know if anybody else has seen that bug or um or you know knows how to fix that but for now we're just going to leave it because C5 seems to be working pretty good. Like I said, I'm at 30 frames per second, and, and you know, I could be happier. So we are going to integrate the pier uh, this way. So it's stopped there to get to the square. We're going to have another one that comes around this way to connect both this side and that side. Possibly have some boats in here. Um, but, you know, that's to be determined die. Um, and then our other plan is to maybe have a road integrate, I don't know, maybe on that side, maybe on that side. But we're going to go at least get up into that way. So if we want to build that way, we can. But for now, we are in the new section that the Neural is building. And this may be top secret, but, you know, yeah, sorry, Neural. Um, yeah. Um, so we've got some stuff being built, and I don't really know what he's doing. But it looks really cool. <laughs> Holy crud. That's a lot of, of things. All the things. Uh, I don't even remember what was what. And where was where? Huh. Oh, maybe it's going to be tight in here. I don't know. Um, but this side is in progress. The Neural has found a new concept of of how to build um, like tight-knit houses. So we're going to let him roll on this. And then in the, not the ne necessarily the next episode, but in a future episode when it's complete, um, we will go over it for sure. Uh, and you will not be disappointed. I'm, I promise. I promise. We've been talking. We've been planning. Some really cool ideas how to integrate everything and add just little tips and tweaks. So let's go on to the next piece. And this is this was this is our center point. Um, this is the latest thing that I've worked on uh, since then. This still needs to be spruced up. This is going to be our manufacturing and shipping distribution center. You know, all the the plan is once I get another shovel and fix this, all the boats are going to come in whether from that direction, that direction, whatever. They're going to come in here, like a shipping lane, and they will come up right and close next to this center barge and circle around it. Uh, and we will take a look up here. Yeah, get up the ladder. Okay, so this here will have all of the goods that the sailors are in need of. Um, and we've got our tower here. And as if you remember from that last episode, at least if you watched it on the Neural's view, uh, this plant, this is going to be the focal point. This is kind of where the two uh, different designs um, and styles kind of merge into one piece, right? So we've got this base, right? And let's assume that where this tower ends, this is where it always was. Uh, you've got cranes lifting things and big gears that are going to be in there. Maybe, he, ha, I don't know depends on what we can fit because uh, we are going to need to be able to access up there um, and so from there you know when the new peoples the Lenorian peoples that you can't see because my render distance is not far enough um, you know they came in they extended it so they've got their style going up and we're going to have like an air cargo ship area up there how they integrate between each other to be determined it's going to be magic of course but um, 
We'll see. So, um, so this is the next thing that I've added. And yes, we've got a crane. I built it. It's pretty. Uh, I died a couple times. This has taken some blood from me. I, I, I will admit. Um, so let's look at how this is going to work. Um, let's come up here. Boop. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with this design. It, I think it's very simple, um, yet still intricate. I, I barely used any stairs. So there's going to be some updates going forward. Um, but once we get everything situated and we figure out, you know, where everything's going to be, that that's when we'll do it. Because I don't want to... Eh. Oh, crap. Um, I don't want to... Oh, good, good. I don't want to, you know, get so intricate and to the point where, crap, we have to tear things down because it just doesn't work. So um, the point of this building is we've got the cranes and they've got these giant um, log arms, like these beams going across. And we've only got one. I've only got one built in because at this point I haven't farmed wood in a long time, um, especially oak. Um, spruce is easy, but I like the way the oak looks a little bit better. So it's probably a mistake. Um, so you got the oak arm that comes out and you've got this, you know, the, the fences here kind of act as chains. Uh, and then this arm will come back to here, pick up the cargo and then it will head out across and the arm will get to here and then it can lower again, which is really neat. I, I, it's, essentially like any crane arm <laughs> that you would uh, notice. It's not a hook, and I, I like it that way because not everything, you know, it, not everything needs a hook. You know, that's assuming that you have rope for everything. And uh, crap, I'm, ooh, I'm stuck. Two, three. Can I kill it? I, I really need a shovel. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, well. Um, anyways, so before, without looking, I can just break. Break it. Okay. You. And then, yeah, that's fine. And then I need a torch. Oh, no. There it is. So, so the way that this works, um, you know, obviously this is just a piece of wood, and this would fall into the bay. It's heavy, right? Especially with heavy loads. Um, so the wood beam is going to go straight across. Um, that way, and we're going to get another set that goes out that way and that way. Um, so essentially, all the center mass is going to be right here, um, and that will allow for a more even weight distribution. So let's head up this way, uh, and that's just that's just a little bit of science behind it. As long as it, in my opinion, to make a build make sense, like you can build something and it looks cool, but sure, you know, you can just say magic. At least if you have some sort of facts and details. It makes it a little bit easier to be believable. But this up here is the uh, the neurals doing. It's very, oh crap, that's very scary. Um, this is a start. You know, he's going to be using a lot of the, the diorite in his builds, which I like. I like. It's a, it's a very big contrast compared to, you know, the stone. Oh my goodness. Don't make me. Well, we can't. We can't do it from there. No. Let's get crazy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so um, as you can see, you know, very, very pretty. I think he, he plans on building a dome, maybe, um, which will be pretty cool. So, you know, that'll top out his design. Is that pink? Very cool. Um, so, yeah, so let's, I mean, the reason why I came up here, other than to eventually jump off, is to kind of get a good overview and a good view about the entire place. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're it's starting to come together. There's a lot of pieces. Uh, in once we start integrating them, especially you know once we get the two sides completed, being being here, um, then you, there's there's only a couple more things that we need to do to really start to um, to fit it in. And you know another thing we can do too, you know we haven't integrated this side, which takes a little bit more planning. I know that we were planning on. Um, at least looking into building one lighthouse for sure. Uh, and that is going to be this guy on this mountain. That's that's a little bit of ways away. Uh, and then we've got you know possibly another build. I think maybe he wanted to think about an arch or something like that. Uh, we'll see again on that. Um, but it would be kind of like there and into there. Um, so these are all possibilities. 
you know, they're really endless in here. And especially when you're working with multiple people, it really helps. I can't stress it enough. You know, playing single player by yourself is fun. It is, you know, but if you can play with somebody else, especially somebody that pushes you, um, the way the Neural does, I mean, his building is just great. And, I mean, he's just so fast, right? That's He did this, like, in a day. I watched him. It's just done. Um, you know, it, it just it makes it better for everybody. So, um, so that's going to do it, really, for this, other than, you know, the drop. <laughs> Um, there's not really much more I can show you without going into more details about things that don't exist. So we're going to cut the episode here and I'm going to review it and maybe you'll see it. Um, and if not, well then, sorry. <laughs> so thank you for watching guys. I appreciate your patience, um, with my video <laughs> producing habits. Um, they have not been great as late and you know, we welcome any new members that join. You know, and uh, this is just fun. I'm going to tell you, I, I've missed it. And compared to the last episode I tried, where I tried to build that monstrosity, I, this feels right. It feels good um, talking again. And, you know, I'm sure that if everything works out well, um, it'll only get better. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.